Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Glenby. This is Glenby Gaming, and today we are on Airport Sim. It's a demo that's out as part of uh, Steve's Next Fest. Uh, finishes on the 13th, so you got a couple of days to go try this. It's a sort of game that I will probably be playing on the channel once it's released in uh, quarter three of this year. The quarter three generally tends to be like um, August, September, October, or July, August, you know, middle, middle of the turn of the month, end, end of the year, sorry. So as you can see, we're at an airport, and what we do in this game is operate the equipment to turn around an aircraft. So we're going to do the tutorial. Do the demo. A lot of this stuff you can see, we won't be able to do lots. You can only do certain bits of the game at the minute until it's fully released. Welcome to the airport sim demo. You are now surrounded by the beautiful hills and cliffs of the Faroe Islands, all while standing at the only airport in the region, Vagar. In this scenario, I'd like to demonstrate a series of mechanics that we've recreated that are part of an aircraft's turnaround phase. These include securing an aircraft after arrival with chocks and cones, providing power to an aircraft through a mobile ground power unit, connecting the passenger stairs, and unloading luggage from the cargo hold. As you can see, the aircraft has just arrived at the gate, so allow me to talk you through the basics of movement and interactions. You can use the on-screen controls to look and walk. Now, walk up to the wheel chocks and pick them up by pointing your view in their direction and then pressing the button displayed on screen. So, the H on and off headphones is a new edition that wasn't there a couple of days ago. Uh, before on this. Yeah, it definitely it's, it is very loud without headphones on. I'm sure people have said it's way too to loud. To secure the aircraft from rolling away in the event of hydraulic brake failure, approach each set of wheels and place a set of chocks underneath. Now, walk up to the cones, pick them up and place them each around the aircraft in the indicated placement areas. You can pick a cone up just like you did the chocks. To manipulate the cone's position and rotation, use the controls displayed on screen. So the chocks, you can pick them all up in one go, but the cones you need to do one at a time. You can't stack them on top of each other like you would do normally. One more, and we're done. Secured and ready to be connected to the ground power unit, also known as the GPU. After landing, an aircraft continues to generate power from its engines, that is, until they are turned off, and power is switched to another engine, located at the very rear of the aircraft known as the Auxiliary Power Unit, or APU. In this instance, the APU has already been powered on, shortly after landing before the pilots arrive at the gate. Your next task is to prepare the GPU for operation so the pilots can power down the APU to stop burning fuel. From both perspectives, this switch will be seamless. The crew can fully operate the onboard computers, lights, 
and even the coffee machines just from GPU power. The aircraft parked at the gate has just arrived and is still on APU power. This grants us the chance to show off the complete process of connecting the GPU. Head over to the tug parked in the garage, attach the GPU to it and tow it over to the indicated area. and drive off to the aircraft, you'll need to connect the GPU to the tug. Position the rear of your tug with the front of the GPU and reverse backwards until the rear of the tug is almost touching the tow hook of the GPU. The driving controls are displayed on screen. Exit the tug and walk over to the tow hook of the GPU and follow the action displayed on screen. Perfect. Remember that attaching other trailers to the tug follows the exact same process. Now, follow the road in front of you to the right, and then approach the indicated area near the aircraft. Once you're in position, exit the tug and detach the GPU from it. Then, head to the rear side of the GPU and open the highlighted panel flap at the top, revealing the control panel. Now, I'll teach you how to fire this unit up in sequence. To operate indicated buttons, use the controls displayed on screen. Select the highlighted power on button. This starts the generator battery. Now, hold down the highlighted engine start button for four seconds until the engine starts up. So you need to hold down the left mouse button. We'll wait about 60 seconds until the engine warms up and the oil temperature reaches 80 degrees Celsius. So you don't get bored, head to the front side of the aircraft and open up the indicated connector flap. Great, the GPU should now be warmed up and ready for operation. Plug in the power cord by facing the connector area inside the flap you've just opened on the aircraft. Now, head back to the GPU's control panel and switch the highlighted motor setting dial from idle to run. Then, push the DC output button to the on position. Great. The aircraft is now connected to the GPU. There's nothing else you need to worry about here, as the pilot will change the power source at their discretion. Soon enough, you'll be able to hear the aircraft's APU powering down. You're now ready to continue with other services. We'll move on to connecting the passenger stairs. There are a few ways to board an aircraft, and after all, can't just climb up since the doors on this aircraft are about two and a half meters up off the ground. I'll show you how to operate the mobile passenger stairs. As you can guess, it's a vehicle equipped with a retractable stair platform that can adjust to various aircraft with different door heights. This form of boarding an aircraft is generally used on remote stands when a jet bridge isn't present. The stairs vehicle is located in the garage. Approach and enter it. So at the minute, it only has one type of aircraft in the game. It's the uh, Boeing 737, but I believe the uh, A320neo is going to be in as well. Okay. Start the engine and drive.
drive over to the aircraft we just connected the GPU with. There'll be a highlighted area on the left side of the aircraft. Stop in this area facing the entry door. Let me give you some tips. Remember that the left side of the plane is always intended for passenger or staff entry and exit. So regardless of the type of aircraft, you will always be attaching stairs to the left. And to add, you always refer to the left or right of the aircraft from the pilot's perspective to prevent confusion. Now, try to align the platform to the aircraft's door in such a way that doors are positioned slightly to the right from the middle. Come in slowly and try to raise the platform slightly so it matches the silver plate located just below the door. When you're lined up and around four meters away from the aircraft door, stop and change your camera to the interior view. You'll see two bulbs on the left of the dashboard to make identifying a successful alignment easier. One red and one green. If the green light illuminates, that means you've successfully aligned the stairs and are ready to connect them to the aircraft. Now, Move slowly and stop when the green bulb lights up. Then when stationary, you will need to lower the supports, which will stabilize the stairs platform whilst passengers disembark the aircraft. We're still not done. Still, there are a couple of things we need to do. Exit the cab and make your way to the top of the stairs. Now, you must open the aircraft door and pull in the side barriers to secure passage. In the tug. Attach a highlighted baggage trailer to the tug. Great. Now drive over to the baggage loader. Park in the indicated area, ensuring that the side of the baggage trailer is facing the baggage tank. Sure to leave some space so you can safely maneuver with the luggage while loading it onto the baggage trailer. You can now exit the tug. Tilda key.
matter of getting these on properly without dropping them. After you've offloaded the front cargo hold, remember to close the doors and repeat the process with rear cargo hold to unload the baggage. I can get a Tetris. Make sure you put the uh, barriers up because they will fall out. As you can see, the luggage has already shifted. Jump in here. Uh, let's go into the tilde key, ground crew, luggage. Luggage back. Gonna fall out the other side. Remember to close the rear cargo hold door. Ensure the baggage trailers are fully closed and secured, and then enter the tug. Please don't. That's that. Okay, back in the tug.
Drop that down. Press that. Press that. Finally, unload and place all collected luggage onto the conveyor belts and wave them off as they return to the passengers. If you're not careful when you drop these, they could spill open as well. You can launch him as well. Just hold the. Uh... There you go. Look, it's. Uh... <laughs> I don't condone stealing from cases. off to go and the last one job jumped wait for those to go through thank you for playing this brief scenario in the airport sim demo we hope you enjoyed this demonstration and look forward to welcoming you back to explore more of what Airport Sim has to offer. Till next time. Yeah, enjoyed that. Oh, what's... Stuff on the floor down there, didn't pick up. Yeah, there you go. That is the um, tutorial for the Airport Sim demo. The game's out later on this year. I'm going to assume there's a lot more to do with this. You'll like refueling and catering, stuff like that and de-icing you'll have different aircraft different airports so hopefully i'll be able to get this when it comes out and i'll bring it to my channel then thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one